Hey YouTube, it's Fred here from Hillian's Bricks and we're here today with our top 10 list of uh, sets by part out value for the US today. So um, before I go into that, if this is your first time here, we do this on a monthly basis. We uh, do a lot of uh, analysis, you know, we're tracking over 500 sets every month, uh, checking out all the part out values on Bricklink and then we kind of compile a top 10 based on the best ratio. So we personally always look for a ratio of three to zero um 3.0 to 1 so 3 to 1 ratio sorry um and one thing we've actually decided to do is um we've made our data analysis uh, available to people um uh, you know it does take us a lot of work but we set up a patreon site uh where you can you know join uh, there is a fee to to get this but uh, what you will get is uh you know all the analysis that we do uh you'll get to see you know all the um, the part out values for every single set that we track and based on that you can then create uh, a target price so for example if a set has uh, got a part out value of 300 dollars uh you know me personally that would mean that the set would need to have a target price of 100 dollars or below and that analysis is all there it's something that i provide one thing i also provide is um, a top 25 list uh of all the sets so here we're only covering the top 10 but as you will see in today's uh, list, actually, all these sets have a ratio of at least three, uh, three to one. So there's actually 14 sets that um, in the US that reach the threshold of three to one. So those will appear in that top 25 list on the Patreon as well. But yeah, let's get started really with the top 10 um, for um, the US. So there are seven new sets that are, are appearing in the top 10. It's worth knowing that, um, you know, we've had lots of sets that launched in June. Um, about 50% of those, I would say, have now started to get part out values. So the other ones are still either waiting to get some sales on some parts or the inventory to be uh, approved on Bricklink. So not all the sets from June are currently available yet. Uh, so, but maybe we'll see some more changes coming up in our August update. But yeah, let's start with number 10. And at number 10, we've got an old favorite. So yes, this is a set that was here last month. Last month, the Spring Lantern Festival set number 80107 was in third position. As you can see, it is actually available. It's $119.99. Uh, last month's part out value was $412 and change, uh, which gave it a ratio of 3.44. But now it's dropped again, the part out value to $400, just above $400, which gives it a ratio of 3.34. This is why it's number 10. So as I said, all the sets uh, are at least a ratio of 3 to, three to 1. If you have been following my channel for previous months, you know, we've had lots of sets that never even met the three to one ratio. So to have this many in our top 10 with all ratio of three to one is quite phenomenal. So, yeah, we're going to go on to number nine. And at number nine, we're going to go big. And yes, it is the Lego's biggest set at the moment. So this is the uh, 31203, the world map. As you can see, it's out of stock at the moment, and there's a reason for that, because it's $249.99, but gives you a part out value of $853.75, which gives it a ratio of 3.42. Now, this is a new set, obviously, so last month we haven't got any data for that. So yeah, this is why it's at number nine. And we're gonna go next to number eight. And Number eight is the flower bouquet, 10280. So you'll see it's new, although the set is not, not new, right? So um, it's only because it's new because I hadn't previously tracked it. So as I go through my analysis, I find out some sets I haven't tracked. So I start adding them. And from now on, this will be available. So this is at number eight, $49.99 is the retail price, but gives a great part at a value of $171.89 which gives it a ratio of 3.44. And this set often, you know, I've seen it, you know, on Amazon, you know, discounted as well. So it would, if you get it at a discounted price, it will give you even a, a better ratio and probably be able to buy more than two as well. So it's worth keeping an eye out for that one. So that's number eight. Now next, let's move on to number seven. And we got another new set at number seven. And uh, it's Harry Potter related. And I think it's the first time we've had a Harry Potter set appear in the top 10. So it's the Hogwarts Wizards chess set, uh, which is set number 76392. As you can see, it's got uh, a retail price of $59.99. But the part out value for this set for July is $207.65, which 
which gives it a ratio of 3.46. Now, if we actually start looking at you know, 9, 8, 7, the ratios are all very close to each other, so these can shift position quite quickly. But the thing I like about this set is obviously it's got the golden minifigures, which are quite worthwhile, but it's also got lots of tiles, black and white, which are just elements that will likely sell quite quickly if you're looking at it from a part out perspective. So I do think this one will move on quite quickly. Now, that's number seven. Now, let's go to number six. And at number six, we've got Everyone is Awesome. Yes, set number 40516 uh, with the 11 minifigures. Um, this retail price is $34.99. Surprisingly, you're allowed to buy five. In the UK, you're only allowed to buy two. Um, but it gives you a part out value of $124.06 which gives it a ratio of 3.55. Um, and I think this is just for your reference. When I do the part out value, it's based on the entire minifigure. So it could actually be more worthwhile if you part out the minifigures as well and just sell the parts uh, individually. Um, just for reference, I wanted to share that I did it based on the entire minifigure just to have the consistency in terms of how I analyze all the sets. We do it all the same. I just wanted to let you guys know you could actually get a better a ratio as well if you part out the minifigures. But yeah, that's why it's number six. Now we're going to go to number five. I'm moving on my page. And again, it's another new set. And it is a big one. This is the Daily Bugle. So set number 76178. Uh, $299.99 is the retail price. Uh, you know, with its 25 minifigures. Um, so the part out value for July is $1,091.59, which gives it a ratio of 3.64. Um, and I do think, you know, that's very healthy ratio. It was, it was to be expected that this would be quite high. But yeah, this is number five. Next, we're going to go to number four. And we've got a mover. So number four, we have Ninjago City Garden. So last month, this was number two. So as you can see, also $299.99 this retails at. Uh, last month, it was $1,146.74. Uh, part that value but this month is dropped to $1,109.17 still it gives it a great ratio of 3.7 and that's why it's number four now we're going to go into number three in a second but if you made it already this far and you enjoyed the content you may as well like our video because that does help our channel so hit that like button that definitely helps now let's go into number three and again we've got a non well another set that was previously in our uh, listing. So last month's number one, actually. So these are the tulips. So last month, uh, this was uh, number one, 40461, $9.99. As you can see, it sold out. And it's probably because it was so popular in terms of the part out that why it sold out so quickly. Uh, but last month, the part out value was $38 and change, uh, which gave it a ratio of 3.84. Now it's $37 and change. Uh, so still a 3.75 uh, ratio, which is very healthy. And then we got the top two, and there are two new sets. Um, I wonder if you can guess which ones they are. All right, let's move on to number two. And at number two, we've got a bit of a controversial choice here, which is the Toyota GR Supra Speed Champion. So $19.99 uh, gives a, a very big uh, part out value of $75.76, which gives it a ratio of 3.79. Now, i got to uh, provide a bit of a warning on here because I did some analysis uh, further in that because I did not expect this set to make it anywhere near the top 10. And one thing I've learned is that you see the wheel arches, uh, the piece of the wheel arches. Obviously, the set has four of them. They are extortionately priced. And I think the price is just way skewed. There's something like 7 or $8 for one wheel arch. And I think, you know, someone has been taken advantage of the fact that there weren't many available and i do think this is rapidly going to drop significantly so my expectation is that the part out value for this set is going to be around the 50 bucks which gives it a ratio of 2.5 so come next month i'd be very surprised if this set still features in the top 10 so i just wanted to give this a warning don't be you know necessarily tempted to just purely buy based on the part out value uh, you got to sometimes learn and look into the detail on why certain sets are driving the part out value. Now, all the other sets, I kind of expect them to be here. This one, I was completely shocked by. So, yeah, um, that's why it's number two. But I don't think it's going to be here for much longer. <clears throat> right. Number one. Can you ever guess what it's going to be? 
Number one, we've got dots. Lots of dots. Literally, that's what it's called. 41935. So I think it's over a thousand pieces in this set. But, you know, it's $19.99. So it says, come in only August 1st. So I do realize in the US, um, you know, these were June 1st launches in the UK. That's why I've already been tracking them. But And that's why we already have part out values. But the US, lots of the sets have been delayed. But based on the part out value already, I can say that the set is going to probably do well. It's $110.23 uh, cents is the current part out value, which gives it a ratio of 5.51. Now, um, this set in the UK as well is already discounted on Amazon, um, and it's um, you know you can even get a better ratio. Now this was also incidentally the number one set in the UK, but it was a ratio of four point something, not the five point five one we've got here. But yeah, it's a very generous thing. My concern is you know I'm not the biggest fan of dots. There's lots of supply of dots, and you know it far outweighs the demand. So I wouldn't recommend loading up tons of these because you might be sitting on some stock for quite a while especially those quarter tiles and the round ones and the, the square ones the one by ones they might do okay but about the rest i am not 100 percent convinced but that's just my personal choice we do know we have some people on our channel and on our discord server who are big fans of dots but um i just wanted to put that out there um yeah this is what is the number one so yeah that's it for the top 10. We hope you enjoy this content. As I said, we do this every month. You, you know, you get the full detailed analysis on our Patreon channel. Uh, we've also got a Discord channel, as I just mentioned. That's completely free. We recommend anyone joining our Discord ch chat channel. We're building a nice community there. There is a link in the description on how to join that. And yeah, you'll find all sorts of useful information and be able to contact myself on there or other people that are part of the community. I think we've already got over 125 people on there. So it's it's building nicely. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this content. Don't forget to like it again. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Have a good day. Bye.